Here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. So I was out and about in the yard yesterday, just, you know, doing a little pre-fall cleanup, and I all of a sudden smell someone in the neighborhood burning a wood stove. Sure sign of the season, right? I know, a little early for that yeah. for me. But, you know, we've really flipped a switch from midsummer heat to <laughs> just quick. autumn. Yeah, it was. And now we've got the sun setting in the 6 o'clock hour. Days are getting shorter. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. We're not going to see much of the sunset this evening. I'm still expecting lots of clouds around, even a couple of sprinkles here. Uh, and across 295 as well, we've had some along the south coast. And there will be the threat of some sprinkles continuing this afternoon, but a better chance of showers as we approach the evening. So about 66 West Bay Manor and Warwick right now, 63 East Bay Manor and East Providence. And we're coming in at about 62 Sakana Bay Manor and Tiverton. And our weather spotters are right on track with those temperatures, low to mid-60s, cloudy and calm from Chet and Narragansett. Uh, Kelly in Westport says, cloudy, gray day, and Armand and Kim and Pataka describe it with one word, blah. This afternoon heading off the bus, those chilly temperatures continue only 65 to 70. The average high for this time of year is actually 74 degrees, so we're well below that in many spots this noontime. At 2 o'clock this afternoon, still showing the clouds around, and then notice what happens as we head towards this evening. We get these scattered showers in here, especially as you're heading off to bed, and through the first part of the nighttime Hours. But by 5 o'clock tomorrow morning, they should be pushing off the coastline. Any clouds that we have around tomorrow morning will give way to brighter sky. So tomorrow we'll finally see the sun, and the temperature should be noticeably higher than what I'm forecasting for this afternoon, which is only 68 in Narragansett. Westerly, pretty similar in the upper 60s. So we're all climbing up a couple of more degrees. Northern suburbs, you may catch a quick sprinkle that uh, autumn feel in Chapatit at 67, Greenville at about 68, Pawtucket at 69 degrees, Swansea in the upper 60s. New Bedford clouds, maybe a peak of some. We saw a little bit of brightening earlier in the day, but the clouds have tended to fill back in now. Tonight, scattered showers around. Still a cool night. Temperatures down to uh, 54 to 58 degrees. We'll widen out the view here and show you the uh, tropics because there are two named systems this Monday afternoon out in the Atlantic. We have Igor, which formed last week. It's now finally in the central Atlantic. And Julia, newly formed tropical storm over the weekend uh, that's still well in the east. Eastern uh, Atlantic closer to the coast of Africa. But let's talk about Igor right now because this is a major powerful hurricane. 150 mile an hour winds with this storm system and it's another large storm. It is expected to move to the uh, west and northwest and slowly weaken over the work week. So this is 8 o'clock Saturday morning, still a major category 3 hurricane at that point. Winds right now, again, 150 miles per hour. We're still 2,000 miles out of Miami, but it's something that we'll be watching next week and early uh, next week. I think at the very least, we'll probably see some swells from that hurricane at our shoreline. Seven-day future cast. We are looking at mostly cloudy skies. Again, some showers around later this evening and tonight. Temperatures at about 68 for a high today, then dropping into the 50s tonight. Get used to those 50s overnight. We've got a work week full of them with uh, 75 for a high Tuesday. It does look dry at the poles tomorrow. Clouds in the morning should give way to brighter skies, a high of about 75. Wednesday is not a bad hump day, 72. And then we do have increasing clouds and some more showers Thursday night into the first half of Friday. Early check of next weekend. Looking good so far. Low to mid-70s with dry skies. You can get your updated forecast 24 hours a day on the Pinpoint Weather Station on Cox Digital Cable Channel 125. So we stick with the fall feel this week. Yeah, and you can't use the weather as an excuse tomorrow to not get out and vote. Thank you, Michelle.